So welcome back to Princess Yachio. Today's guest is Mrs. Chelsea. Thank you very much. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about the woman's career. In Edo era, uh, participating to Ogu was the supreme career among women. Ogu is uh, like the biggest harem in an uh, Edo castle. And um, it was seen to be the best career for the woman. And there were two reasons for this. Uh, one experience of Oku was seen to be like uh, adding more value, absolute value for yourself to find a better future husband. And the second was uh, there was the slightest possibility that you could have a uh, you could become a mother of the next shogunate if you give a birth by attracting the shogunate or <laughs> and then um, so back to the current days um, do you find any like cultural difference between Japan and other countries that you have lived among the women's career in general mm. Well, I think I think there's still um, some inequality mm. these days between mm-hmm. men and women, and mm-hmm. our opportunities to mm-hmm. progress and mm-hmm. and get higher positions mm-hmm. in the company. Of course, it depends on uh, what kind of career it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of careers we in our minds, I think we don't realize it, but we have it as like a men's career. Um, for example, maybe politicians, we uh, relate more with with men, especially, I think in Japan too, there's um, a, la- a really larger percent <laughs> of men in, in politics. Um, I think these days we're seeing some slow, slow changes. Mm-hmm. And I know uh, Prime Minister Abe, <laughs> mm-hmm. he's like trying to, to push mm-hmm. for, for women to mm-hmm. um, you know, move forward in their careers, to participate more in politics as well. They have like a certain percent they want to participate. Um, but then at the same time, I, I've also heard that, you know, with the, um, the lowering birth rate in Japan, and not as many children are being born. So there's also this pressure uh, for women to, okay, go and uh, have children. Like. <laughs> So it, it's hard. I think there's a lot of mixed messages going on. Um, I think it, this this doesn't exist as much, at least in the United States and uh, in Luxembourg. I, I don't really feel that either. I think mm-hmm. a woman is just as likely to be a manager at a bank or a store uh, as a man. Mm-hmm. Um, and politics as well. In Europe, you see a lot of women in really high positions in, in politics. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm always really happy to see that. Um, mm-hmm. And I, I mean, I hope this, that, that this can start to happen all over the world, but I think some countries are progressing mm-hmm. a little bit slower than others. Mm-hmm. And it also depends on what the women want. I mean, I, I, in Japan, I have a lot of female friends who say, I just want to find a guy who mm-hmm. will work and I want to stay at home and I want to take care of the kids and mm-hmm. do all the domestic things. And I think that's fine. Mm-hmm. But it, it, it seems like it, it's failing to progress forward mm. <laughs> in the rest of the world. Um, oh. this, yeah, this could be my, also my point of view. I think I have a more Western point of view, a way of mm-hmm. thinking. Mm-hmm. So it's harder for me to put my sh- my myself in the shoes of a, a Japanese mm-hmm. woman, and uh, right. yeah, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's a difficult topic. Uh, personally, I, I'm mm-hmm. not super motivated in my mm-hmm. career. Like I'm not a really mm-hmm. ambitious person. I don't need to get a, a high mm-hmm. position. Mm-hmm. Um, more, I just want to find something that I like doing and I'm mm-hmm. comfortable mm-hmm. doing and. Um, I, I mean, I think I've lived a pretty privileged life to, mm-hmm. to be able to make this choice, you know. Um, I always had people supporting me uh, financially and mm-hmm. emotionally and otherwise. So, um, yeah, I, did, I never felt forced to do anything or work so hard that, you know, I couldn't enjoy my life. Mm-hmm. So, 
yeah, I, I think I, I had it pretty, pretty good. <laughs> so I think uh, in my case also, I there was a uh, always people supporting me financially and so um, psychologically and everything. And uh, one thing I found it really interesting. I mean, personally, I thought it was different from Japan to the Western countries. Is that uh, in Japan, some of my friends are already married, have some children, and the other some of my children are just uh, working, working, working. So, yeah. like, uh, if you can marry until like twenty six or like at uh, most before the 30s then you probably likely to have the family but mm. you're not uh, taking the career seriously maybe working in a part-time or more yes. focusing on the chores because the women women are like uh, the people to take care of the children in japan so yeah, yeah still, yeah. still yeah. not in every case but and then so um when i heard the the people working here talking about like uh, they don't want to get married at least after 30s or like uh, they start to think to have some babies or children after mid 30s or like before the 40s and to me it was a little bit surprising because nice. when I was like 25 or like 26 I already felt like oh I'm, t- I'm too old to get married <laughs> <laughs> So, no. oh, oh. <laughs> I feel like yeah, in Japan there's um, mm. there's really a lot of pressure put on young women mm. to find someone before a certain age. Yes. Um, I know you have this idea of like the old Christmas cake, which which I've heard of. Um, Who is it? Well, I've heard it's like a, a woman is like a Christmas cake, right? So okay. she's good until 25. Okay. <laughs> But so December 25th, like Christmas. Oh, and then, oh wow. <laughs> <That's> and then, <laughs> <laughs> she's not, she's uh, gone bad. She's not. <laughs> um, I heard this, I think I heard it either from one of my Japanese friends or my mm-hmm. Chinese friends or mm-hmm. something like that. And I was so shocked when I had <laughs> that idea because. Um, you know, in the States, people will continue dating, going mm. in and out of relationships mm. until they die. I mean, <laughs> or until they can. Mm. I mean, my, my mother is a single and mm. she's been in a few relationships, mm. you know, even after she had me. Um, mm. It's nothing that is frowned on by, by society to date, you know, she'll go on maybe a dating website, that, mm-hmm. that didn't work out, <laughs> someone in the apartment, okay, that didn't work out. Now she kind of is like, she kind of gave up, she's kind of like, I don't want any more of this. Oh. <laughs> no, it's fine. She's, she's a very strong, independent woman mm-hmm. and she really does not need anyone. <laughs> um, but <laughs> anyways, my, my point was that mm-hmm. even as an older woman, Mm-hmm. Um, it's perfectly natural to mm-hmm. to go out and to meet people mm-hmm. and to date people, whether you're a man or a woman. Mm-hmm. And I really felt like that the women could not do that after a certain age mm-hmm. in, in Japan. And um, when I was teaching English there, mm-hmm. I, I taught a lot of single mm-hmm. um, this women as well who were mm-hmm. older. And it was like they they didn't have any hope for romantic <laughs> life at all it was just like they had given up and, yeah. and from from my perspective they're so still young maybe in 30 late 30s or something mm-hmm. i mean i'm in my late 30s <laughs> and you know they're smart they're motivated mm-hmm. um, they take really good care of themselves mm-hmm. and i was like this is such a waste <laughs> <laughs> don't stay go Go out of Japan for a little while, meet like, meet like a, a, a European guy, a French guy, an Italian guy, you know. That's true. Get some, get some confidence, right? Really. So, <laughs> sometimes I was a little bit sad to, to see that, yeah. Mm, right. True. So I find it really interesting that in Japan, either you can marry in your youth or you just keep up and continue with your career. Yeah. Here, like, uh, yeah, yeah. And here, 
it seems like uh, they all men and women they they chase after they look for the career first and then certain age when they have uh, like a certain amount of uh, comfort then they start to think about the next step so I think there's a age difference between them yeah, yeah. I mean, I think one similarity to Japan is that in general, women tend to feel a little bit more pressure to get into a relationship and start a family、mm-hmm. than guys.、Mm-hmm. You know?、Um, if anything, we, we have a little bit more pressure because of our biological clock.、Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. You can't, that's, you can't that's, deny that's that. That's a lie. Yeah, that, yeah, that's、right? a lie. Yeah, biological clock. Science. That's a lie. Yeah. Um, I'd like to think I can wait forever, but、mm-hmm. uh, biology is telling me no, it's not possible, you know.、Mm-hmm. So I, I think that that's the same everywhere, but、mm-hmm. maybe, maybe in Japan women feel that、mm-hmm. a little bit earlier because of the、mm-hmm. per- pressure of, of society and everything.、Mm-hmm. But don't feel like, em- Emily, don't feel like you're old. <laughs> <Please> . <laughs> That's gonna make me feel like I'm really no, old. No, 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 you're not old at all. And yeah, also the thing you commented earlier that if the woman can participate more into politics and stuff, maybe the world could be better. I also heard from a Australian woman, like、mm-hmm. eight days ago, when I went to the school trip or something, and she was saying,、um, if the old president or prime minister become a woman, like leader, maybe the world、mm-hmm. can be more peaceful. I'm not sure, but that was her opinion, and、um, yeah. Can be. Yeah, we, we hope so. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it could be a little bit extreme in a in a way, but still, like、uh, in terms of participating more to to different fields as well. Yeah, I mean, I really hope in the future a lot of company,、uh, sorry, countries、mm-hmm. will make it、um, make it a law that、um, mm-hmm. in parliament, in Congress, in politics,、mm-hmm. whatever, there have to be fifty fifty fifty、mm-hmm. men and women. You know,、um, it just makes sense to me. You know,、mm-hmm. to have more perspectives there,、mm-hmm. um, since our world is made up of probably I think there's a little bit more than fifty percent women actually. You know? Oh, really? Didn't know. I think we're <laughs> actually. <laughs> well, actually, after China had the single child、oh, policy,、okay. and then all these male children were born, right? <laughs> Sure. So, and then maybe now there's more men. <laughs> that's true. That's anyway, true. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're desperate. They're like looking for women. There's no more women. Oh, true. What about you? And、uh, did you feel like a big difference when you came to Luxembourg? So you felt like.、Uh, actually, I'm personally. I don't have any career at all in my life, <laughs> so it's something that I cannot discuss in detail. But still, like you said, I see in Luxembourg like people, men and women, are、uh, totally equal. And、um, also, my husband helps me out with the chores and stuff. And yeah, yeah and even if it's little, but still, like my parents, when when my parents see my husband washing dishes, my mom is like. What a miracle happening! I envy you so much. <laughs> Because in Japan, like everything from chopsticks to I don't know, from chopsticks to everything you have to get, like I mean, my 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 father is an amazing person. He he's not、um, forcing my mother to do. Still, still, I think it's a custom that the. Woman doing the all the chores and my mom get tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I agree.、Um, I think I mean even in the U.S., if、mm-hmm. if the father or the man、mm-hmm. is need to be doing a lot of chores, if he's helping out with the children,、mm-hmm. cleaning the house, he gets so much praise. Like, oh, you're doing such a good job. You're so、oh, amazing.、Yeah. You're such a good husband. I、On、see. the other hand, if the wife or the woman is doing it, it's just taken for granted、True. that she <laughs> she can do this. It's 
you know, it's part of being a woman, you know, we <laughs> keep clean, clean and take care of kids. Um, <laughs> in general, I think guys get more praise because it's not as expected that they're mm-hmm. domestic, mm-hmm. I would say. Um, yeah, I didn't really grow up uh, like that. Actually, my my mother is kind of like a neat freak. You know, she has, <laughs> that sounds really bad, okay. <laughs> not a neat she's very clean and very organized. Um, so before I could ever clean anything she would always clean it first Ooh. and so I, I had a really bad education in cleaning up after myself Ooh. and when I moved to Japan by myself in a small apartment mm. you know I had to learn the smallest to oh my god it was a disaster you don't know <laughs> For the first, uh, you know, six months or so, maybe even a year, so messy, couldn't cook anything. Um, so I think also, I mean, just living by yourself and being independent, whether you're a man or a woman, is, is a really good way to help you <laughs> towards adulthood. <laughs> you know, housework in, uh, as well. True, true. <laughs> Yeah. That's so true. So don't, don't let your parents do everything for you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> example, example of that. <laughs> no, me too, actually. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm really spoiled, so here I am and I'm like this. So. <laughs> But what about now? How do you feel? Um, do you feel comfortable at home? You I'm it's totally comfortable with the home and chores but it's just one thing for me the career or something earning is something that didn't do very much throughout my life so to me it seems like the highest mountain for now so like must be like a little intimidating mm-hmm. for you to mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm really intimidated as well to to start or to look for a job in Luxembourg because mm. new country for me and I don't mm. speak the languages fluently so for me it's also yeah. a big hurdle you know I, I, I understand what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> to me like you have everything I mean you're really perfect so oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I appear that way <laughs> to be with someone uh, who is actually really motivated in his career m- mm-hmm. much more than I am mm-hmm. so I could I was able to kind of like go with the flow mm-hmm. <laughs> of the situation yeah. maybe similar, similar to you I guess mm-hmm. yeah oh so true yeah um well, I have a question for you eventually are you okay. thinking, are you thinking of starting a career eventually in Luxembourg Wow, <laughs> that's a tough question because I think in terms of living, it's better if I start. But uh, practically, I mean, I'm not sure. I wouldn't say definite yes, hopefully, hopefully yes, but uh, more of no, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm trying to do... Maybe if I were to do more like a startup than applying to a company or something, mm. maybe. Yeah. Well, maybe your mind will, will change in a few years. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I know you just got here. You haven't been here for long. So, sure. uh, long adjustment period, I think. Mm, true. Well, now that we have this video, I have a few years to, to check every sometime that <laughs> how did I change? <laughs> be a little motivated, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> True. I think enjoy enjoy your life as it mm-hmm. is now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, mm-hmm. you can relax a little bit more yeah. now than if you had to go to a company every day, to the office mm-hmm. every day. A little bit more freedom. Yes. Um, yeah. Same with me so I, mean, <laughs> I, want to, I want to look for a job more regular job but mm-hmm. i'm really trying to enjoy this mm-hmm. this time period in my life mm-hmm. as much as possible True. well i think that's enough for today and thank you very much thank you it's nice talking with you you too so 
will be Merry Christmas or Happy New Year by the time this video is released. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay. But... <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, everyone. <laughs>